Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room on the Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you and your brother and sister who are home are going to help you watch and have a good time today, and also your caregivers. Most important that they join us, too. So let's all have fun, shall we? What's happening outside? I see my yard sort of full of leaves. Are there leaves in your yard? Huh? I suppose that that leaf blowers bloom right away, right? And then they come down, you don't rake them up in a pile anymore. Uh, I don't think so. Here we go. I have some leaves here. The leaves are softly falling down. They're red and orange, yellow and brown. Can you pretend that your leaves falling down? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we go. The leaves are softly falling down. They're red and orange, yellow and brown. Those are colors, aren't they? <clears throat> what other colors do you know? You know blue. And there's a dark blue in the water here, right? You look like that. Well, over here, I have some fire engines. Well, I'll tell you what, um, I don't know about this year with a, with a um, kind of different uh, way we're doing things, but most years the firemen come and talk about fire safety to all the schools, even the little play schools. And so anyway, here's a fire song. And they do make a lot of noise, don't they? They sure do. And um, <clears throat> when my children were um, young, and I had to make sure that they heard that it was time for dinner, I'd ring a bell. Now I'd really ring it hard and loud so that they could hear me all the way over in the park. Now those fire bells, they're loud too, aren't they? And that siren, oh my goodness, why does it have to be so scary and loud? Well, that's because it's very important for us to let the firemen go and put out that fire, right? So here's a song. Hear the fire bell, hear the fire bell, ding, 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 ding. Hear the siren, hear the siren, ooh. Ah, shiny engine, hook and ladder, firemen running. Hear them shout, put on water, put on water, put that fire out. Right. Come on, let's pretend we're firemen, shall we? Come on, bring that bell. Hear the fire bell, hear the fire bell, ding, 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 ding. Hear the siren, hear the siren, woo, 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 woo. Oh, shiny engine, hook and ladder. <clears throat> Firemen running, hear them shout. Pour on water, pour on water, put that fire out. Oh, yes, most important. Most important people, those firemen. Okay, we'll take that away. Because I have a story today about a little white duck. <clears throat> and I see a little white duck. So I guess there's a duck in my story. There's a little mouse in my story. He's the one that's going to do the singing. And there's a frog in my story. And there is going to be a red snake in my story. And there's going to be a black bug in my story. And he floats on the water. He has little pontoons on his feet so he doesn't sink. There we go. And this is a, a, a lyrics by Walt Whitman. And I love to hear Bert Ives sing this. I'm going to sing it too, but I'm no, I'm no Burl Ives, that's for sure. So the lyrics are by Walt Whitman. And the illustrations, let's see, the music is by Zaritsky and illustrated by Joan Paley, The Little White Duck. And there's the music to it. There's a little white duck sitting in the water, a little white duck doing what she ought to. Took a bite of the lily pad, flapped its wings, and it said, I'm glad I'm a little white duck sitting in the water. Quack, quack, quack. Yeah. There's 
there's a little green frog swimming in the water. A little green frog doing what she ought to. She jumped right off of the lily pad, the little duck bit, and she said, I'm glad. I'm a little green frog doing what I order. Glug, glug, glug. There's a little black bug floating on the water. A little black bug doing what he ought to. <clears throat> he tickled the frog and the duck. He tickled the frog on the lily pad. And the little duck bit the little duck bit. And he said, I'm glad. I'm a little black bug floating on the water. I'm a little red snake playing in the water. A little red snake doing what he ought to. <clears throat> he frightened the duck and the frog so bad. He ate the bug and he said, I'm glad. I'm a little red snake playing in the water. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> now there's nobody left. <laughs> Sitting in the water, nobody left doing what they ought to. There's nothing left but the lily pad, the little duck bit. And he said, I'm glad, sad. He's not glad, he's sad. Because there's nobody left sitting in the water. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Well, pretty soon. Those little animals are going, especially, well, maybe not the ducks, but the, the frog and the snake. They'll be going down in that mud and waiting for spring. Yes, they will. So we'll take this away and we'll find a big pumpkin here under the tree. Look at that big pumpkin. Wow. Now, a pumpkin is a fun thing. It's a, you can make pies out of it, and it's a vegetable. Did you know that? And people can eat it just like a squash. It is a squash, or like a squash family. But Peter loves pumpkin, so he grows lots of pumpkins. So here he is. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, yum, 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 had a wife. There she is, but couldn't keep her. Her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. I don't know. Does that look like an old playhouse to you? I think I've lost about four minutes in that. What do you think? So here we go. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. Here he is eating his pumpkin. Had a wife, but couldn't keep her. Put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. They'll never fly this time. Right. No, I don't think so. <clears throat> well, I see something up in the trees. Did you go apple picking, huh? Did you go apple picking a couple weeks ago? Or even this week? Mm -hmm. Pretend you're the big apple tree. Here we go. Way up high. Oh, get the rough arms up. Way up high in the apple tree. Two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came those apples. Mmm. Mm, they were good, right? Let's do that again, shall we? <clears throat> Way up high in the apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came those apples. Woo! Mmm, they were good. Now, apples aren't always red, are they? No, some of them are yellow, some of them are green, right? Some have a little orange blush on them. Well, let's see what I have here. 
another book. A kiss means I love you. Have you seen this book before? And it's cast by Catherine Madeline Allen. Whoops. A kiss means I love you. Kiss means I love you. A wave means hello. A smile means I'm happy. A tug means let's go. A laugh means it's funny. A cry means I'm sad. A yum means I like it. A pout means I'm mad. A cheer, hooray, I did it, <laughs> means I am proud. Means quiet. That's a little too loud. A shiver means I'm chilly. Oh, please warm me up quick. A sniffle, a sneeze, and a cough means I'm sick. Oh, my poor baby. A roar means I'm scary. A reach means I'll share. A clap means I like it. A hug means I care. A yawn means I'm sleepy. Please tuck me in tight. A kiss means I love you. I love you. Good night. And there we are. Sound asleep. Great big time. Some of you are getting to be pretty old and big, right? Huh? I'm sure you're all walking around now without toddling. You've been running maybe, huh? Can you run? Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Lindsay do? What can you do, Lindsay, all by yourself, huh? You can put on your shoes. Lindsay can put on her shoes, her shoes, her shoes. Billy can. <laughs> Lindsay can put on her shoes all by herself. Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Billy do? Billy, what can you do all by yourself? Wow. Sits up at the table, right? And enjoys the dinner is finished. Wow, that's great. And <clears throat> Billy can eat his dinner, his dinner, his dinner. Billy can eat his dinner all by himself. Good job. Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Becky do? Becky, what can you do all by yourself? Wow, you must be older. You must be at least four, my gracious. Becky can put on her jacket, her jacket, her jacket. Becky can put on her jacket all by herself. Good job. Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Robbie do? Robbie, what can you do? Oh, Robbie can draw a picture, a picture, a picture. Robbie can draw a picture all by himself. Good job. <coughs> <coughs> tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Robbie do? Robbie, what can you 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 do? Robbie, what can you
tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Caroline do? Caroline can brush her teeth all by herself. Caroline can brush her teeth, her teeth, her teeth. Caroline can brush her teeth all by herself. Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can little Dean do? Dean, what can you do? You can count to three. Wow! Dean can count to three, to three, to three. Dean can count to three all by himself. Let's hear it. One, two, three. Good job. <laughs> well, <coughs> I have a horse here. It's brown, but in the poem that I learned when I was little, it was white. But that, that doesn't matter. We all know now what brown is, right? I think brown leaf, right? The brown leaf and the brown pony. Right? <laughs> and we pretend it's a rocking horse, right? Yeah. Can you pretend you're on a rocking horse, or maybe it's just sitting on someone's lap, huh? Or you can stand up and rock back and forth with Granny Jean. <clears throat> Ride a cock horse to Bambury Cross. To see a fine lady upon a brown horse, rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. Come on, everybody, you can do this. Come on, even the caregivers, get into it. Ride a cart horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a brown horse, rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. Wonderful rhyme for a lap, <laughs> lap game, but especially for little, very little young children. <coughs> well, my last book here is Nuts to You. Now here's a tree, and there's someone peeking out of that tree. Can you see what that is? That's the Lois Alert's book, Nuts to You. And that is a squirrel, isn't it? Nuts to you. He has something in his mouth. Looks like a peanut to me. It's shell. What do you think? <clears throat> See that squirrel in our tree? I think he'd rather live with me. <laughs> Why do I say things that? Well, I'll tell you a story. Here we go. I'll wait a while. He could be shy. Or maybe he likes it way up high. So I'm out in the street looking up in the tree, aren't I? <clears throat> Look, here he comes, trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. There he is, trying to hide behind the flowers. He's in the flowers. He's really bad. Uh-oh, he's digging up bulbs. My mom is mad. Oh, those pesky little squirrels, they do dig up the bulbs. There he goes, up, <clears throat> up the bricks on his claws. He steals seeds and eats with his paws. Look at that, how he's such a, um, a clever fellow getting into that um, bird feeder. <clears throat> Walking on tiptoe, tail held high. He, he <clears throat> brushes my plants as he zips by. There he is, you see his tail? I don't see anything else of him, but I see his tail. In our window box, watching us eat, uh, he sits on the flowers and begs for a treat. Now you see, we've been feeding him from the window. Mm -hmm. I open my window for some fresh air, but I forgot the screen has a tear, not just a little one. That's all that squirrel needs. <clears throat> when I came back, guess what I found? That squirrel was there looking around. When I left that room, look who came in. <laughs> came into my house. Oh my goodness. That happens. So I got some nuts, ran out the door, tapped one on the sidewalk and left a few more. And there are the nuts down there on the sidewalk. 
<clears throat> now you see the big hole that he made with that screen. You see how big that hole is now? Nuts to you, I shouted, loud as I could. That squirrel peeked out. I knew he would. So he's peeking right out that big hole. Hmm. He's saying that looks pretty good down there. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. He ran down the bricks and took a big bite. There he goes, scampery, scampery, right down the bricks, the side of the building. He ate all those nuts and scampered away. But he'll get hungry again someday. There he is, and eating all those peanuts. I'll keep nuts in my pocket, one or two. And when I see him, I'll say, nuts to you. And then her last page is squirrel talk, where she talks all about the different things about squirrels and their habitats. Lois alert, great pictures for the wolves. Well, speaking of squirrels, there's my gigantic atomic squirrel. And we had a book last week that was a little bit like this poem. Here we go. Frisky, brisky, hippity hop. Off he goes to the treetop. Whirly, twirly, round and round. Down he scampers to the ground. <clears throat> burly, burly, what a tail. Tall as a feather. Broad as a sail. Oh, snappity, crackity, <clears throat> what a treat. What is this he has in his hand, an acorn? Break the shell, now it's ready to eat. That's right, now he's going to eat that. Here we go. He has to chew right through that hard shell first, just like a peanut. Yeah, <clears throat> so here we go. <clears throat> frisky, frisky, hippity hop. Up he goes to the treetop. Twirly, twirly, round and round. Down he scampers to the ground. Burly, burly, what a tail. Tall as a feather, broad as a sail. Snappity, crackity, what a treat. <clears throat> Break the shell, ready to eat. Let's see what we have here. We have a nice sky. We have a nice sky. We have a moon. A little bit of a shadow over it. There we go. And we have five little pumpkins. Someone has made faces on them. So now they're called jack o' lanterns, right? Right. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, I don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. And the fifth one said, oh, it's Halloween fun. Ooh, went the wind, out went the light. Five little pumpkins woo, rolled out of sight. Well, here we go. I bet some of you know this because you're in preschool, right? <clears throat> so let's do it again. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, the witch is in the air. The third one said, oh, I don't care. The fourth one said, Let's run and run and run. And the fifth one said, oh, it's Halloween fun. Ooh, went the wind. Out went the light. And five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Well, see, I've got a baby here who needs to take a nap. Shall we sing her a lullaby before we say goodbye, huh, shall we? 
Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring turns brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. And if that looking glass gets broke, <clears throat> Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat. And if that billy goat runs away, Mama's gonna buy you a brand new baby. She had a busy morning. Yes, she did. <laughs> so we sing very carefully our bye-bye song. So bye-bye to Mr. Squirrel. I hope you find some nuts to eat. And bye-bye to my little pumpkins. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to Peter, pumpkin eater. And bye to his wife that he kept. <laughs> and bye-bye to the little froggy. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Froggy, say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Froggy. See you next week, I hope. <clears throat>